Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. If you find our videos helpful, do consider subscribing. Now let's continue. Have you ever spent too much time on something and before you know it, it's midnight? And that assignment you've been working on, it's overdue. Why is it we get so attached to such things when we know we have other things worth our time waiting? You may not even realize some of these things are time wasters when you start them. So here is a list of 10 of the biggest time wasters. Are you guilty? Number one, procrastination. Ah, uh, procrastination. Every one of us has procrastinated at some point and odds are you're tired of it. You start your day with homework in mind, but you just have to do something else first then something else, then something else. By the end of the week, there's a pile of homework haunting your dreams, calling out to you. Instead of postponing the hardest task of your day, get it over with early. Just think of the relief that will keep you going throughout the day. Once it's done, you'll save energy not worrying about it for hours, and you'll be happier knowing it's completed. Number two, too much social media. Are you guilty of this? Social media is everywhere then it takes up a lot of our time these days. You may find yourself often scrolling your phone aimlessly like a zombie. Then you realize, am I even enjoying myself? I don't even like cooking. Why am I watching one minute cooking videos? When did I follow them? Well, social media can be very time consuming. The average person spends about 118 minutes on social media per day. That's a lot of hours per week. When you think back, can you even remember what it was on there that grabbed your attention? Odds are it wasn't that important, if you can remember at all. Best to set a timer for how long you want to be on social media per day. Or if you know you've had enough, store your phone away for the evening so you know you won't be tempted to look at those cat videos your friend posts. Number three, always saying yes. You don't always have time to do every favor your friends ask of you. So why do you keep saying yes to every favor your friends ask of you? Sometimes it can feel hard to say no when you enjoy making others happy, but it's time to focus on yourself a bit more or a lot more. Give yourself the time and respect you deserve by knowing your limits and knowing when to say no. Your friend won't hate you for declining a favor this time. And if they do, that's not a good friend, my friend. Not a good friend. Number four, perfectionism. There's no such thing as perfect, so that art project you've been working on for 24 hours straight, it's time to stop. It's just a butterfly and it's for your geometry class, for some reason. We can be our own worst critics, but sometimes we have to take a deep breath and look at the project as a whole. Will it ever be perfect? Are you judging too harshly? Take a step back and accept that great is enough and that there is no perfect. Number five, worrying. Stress and worry can find a way into our lives when we least expect it. Although we may be doing another task or appearing to have fun, worry can take the back seat in our minds and weigh there like a rock. Take a moment and go through what's worrying you in your mind. Don't try to suppress all of your troubles and instead embrace them and accept them for the time being. Things will get better with due time. So there's no point wasting more time by worrying about all that could happen. Number six, multitasking. As much as we'd like to think we can multitask, odds are we can't. Thing is, neurological science has shown the human brain can't actually perform two tasks that require high level brain function at once. Meaning that butterfly project you've been focusing on while writing your English essay, impossible to do at once. Also impossible because you don't have four hands. Number seven, repeating your mistakes. If you know that you have a hard time completing an essay if you don't first outline it, Outline it. If you know you need extra help with your math homework after school with a tutor, ask the tutor. If you know you get sick when you have eight slices of pizza, stick to the one or two. Okay, three, but that's it. We sometimes repeat our mistakes for the silliest of reasons. Maybe we don't want to try out a new solution and fear it will fail. Maybe we don't have the time to experiment to see if it will work. But if we keep repeating our mistakes, we won't have as much room to grow and learn from them. Number eight, checking your phone. Oh, the cat videos. You can't help but check your phone to see if your friend posted a new one. I mean, you have that 12 page essay to complete and a decapitated paper mache butterfly in the corner, but who cares, right? Well, just checking your phone usually doesn't end up to be just checking. 
First, it's checking the cat video, then another cat video, then a cartoon cat video, an episode of Tom and Jerry later, and you've realized your butterfly project is still headless, and all that's written of your essay is the word the. <sighs> Too much SpongeBob and cat videos. Just don't check your phone. Number nine, indecisiveness. Sometimes indecisiveness can ruin the little pleasures in our life. In a 1995 study, Sheena Iyengar, a professor of business at Columbia University and author of The Art of Choosing, raised the hypothesis that people might find more and more choice to actually be debilitating. Iyengar and her research assistants set up a booth with samples of jam. Every few hours, they'd switch from offering a sample selection of 24 jams to only six jams. 30% of customers who stopped at the small selection of jams decided to buy one while only 3% of those who stopped at the booth containing 24 jams decided to buy one. What does this mean? Sometimes it's easier to make a choice when there are fewer options and you simply don't overthink things. So if you're indecisive with the little things, try not to overthink every option and just go with what your gut tells you. And number 10, fear. Fear can stop us from doing a lot of things. Can you think of a time when fear held you back from doing something you truly love? or taking a risk that could have resulted in something great. If we live our lives hidden in fear without taking any risks, we may not have as many opportunities to grow or discover something that can make us happy. Your friend won't hate you if you say no to that favor. You won't get an F if your assignment isn't just perfect. It won't be the most excruciating task of all time if you start that project you've been avoiding. So it's time to stop letting fear take the front seat in your decisions. Fear is a big time waster. Will you let fear stop you from doing something you love? If there's anything to fear, it's that of regret. So, are you guilty of these time wasters? If so, which ones? And what will you do to prevent them from, well, wasting your time? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with someone who's guilty of these habits. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.